G'day guys, welcome to Man Cave Tuesday, hope you all had a ripper week. Again, I'm running right down to the wire, it's Tuesday, just about bloody lunchtime, I still even haven't had a bloody shower, slacker. Um, Alright, so what's going on in this video? Whole heap of bloody stuff, I'm, I've just got to get this done. Here we go. Right now guys, so Tony and Amanda have turned up, if you remember Tony and Amanda are on the, uh, the trike. Well they're back in Bendigo and they've brought over a Kermit chair. So all the Americans are going, yeah we know what the Kermit chair is. I seen this when I had the, um, the what do you call it, the tripod yep. store, I was looking to get a proper one. And I came across this, I nearly bought it but you can only get them in America. And then I found that Halinox. Jesus, you packed that in, didn't you? <laughs> so, Tony's saying that, so, what is it, 160 kilo, kilo rating. weight rating. You can get a bonus um, extender legs. So I was very keen when they told me about it to, uh, to see this in action. Just got to remember how to do it, man. Alright, well you do that, oh, I'm going to get this. This is where all the pressure happens. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yep. Chappy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so ready guys? We're going to go fast motion. Gee, it's really old, it's old school, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's, it's cool from that, from that point. There we have it. Brilliant. Oh, right, so that goes, yeah, right, so yep. you've got the curvature. Cool, right, eh? Come on, big fella. So, so how much do you weigh? A bit. A bit? <laughs> there you go. Brilliant. Marvellous. That's cool, eh? So what are these things worth? Get them out here, they're about it's 400 all up with <gasps> the rises. Wow, really? And a lot of that's obviously to do, to do with the shipping the, to get it here. Well, it's about 50 to ship it. Yeah, but then you've got the exchange rate. The exchange rate. So our Aussie dollar, like at the moment, it's only like where American dollar is $1 and ours is only worth 69 cents to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. All right, let's get these. Uh, doodads on it. A bit low for me without these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is he doing a good job, Amanda? Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's now a regular height yeah, chair. chair. I can sell it. You do. Oh yeah, just really supportive, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Doesn't look very strong, but no, you can you can feel it. As soon as yeah. you sit on it, it's just like it's just there. That's it. Bloody good stuff. So, what's my thoughts? Cool factor. Bloody ripper. It's only the pudding. There's a, it seems a bit yeah. cumbersome. But if you're a big bloke, you've yeah. got to have something. You're limited to you're, what you can have. Yeah, and, I mean that, I don't know how much that weighs. You know what they do? It's not, even, it's not that heavy either, is it? No. So, there you, so there you go, that's another option, although, you know, and it's expensive. Yeah. 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 What do you reckon, Pooks? Pretty good? Righty-o. Yeah. But the timber looks good too, isn't yeah. it? It does, yeah. American oak. They even so what do you reckon, Chappie? Yeah, do you see it. one of those in your in your future? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, guys. So here's this bloody awesome looking trike. Now, what have you done to the to the motor? 
Um, replace the single barrel carbine and put twin downdraft weapons. Ah, so can we see it? Yep. Oh, that's this yeah. is right here. So you've got carbies either side. Oh. Only had a single barrel in the middle. Yep. And what do you reckon you were saying? What, 30% more? 30% more horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. But check this out. Somehow they snagged a uh, little mini car, the front of the... Where's Amanda? <laughs> Go and pop all the things open, it's cool. <laughs> and of course this thing is carting the most important thing. The beer fridge! That's right. <laughs> so that's a bloody big angle thing in there. Oh, look at this. See, the front of the card pops up. Man, you've got room. Oh, so it's here all the way through. Yep. Oh, when you open it up before, I thought it must have been separate. Yeah, that's like... So you can get big, long, yep. long things in there. Makes it easier to get to either end. Yeah. And what'd you say, it, it um... Oh, even though, so that looks like the back of the car. Wow. So this you use for, um, on the Can-Ams? Yeah. Yeah. Fighter, yep. Yeah. They come out in 2011 with oh. RT. Yeah. Trailers. Yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> Righty, eh? Good to see you again, Yep, Mark. you too. See you. Right, yeah, guys. So I've just I've just come back from a, uh, a mercy a mercy dash. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Tony. He's a crew member. He was just doing the GA stash out at the at the shack. The shack. Yep. And I bloody I just met him out there. He's having a having a bit of a struggle trying to find it. Yep. And I went out there, and the bloody shack has actually fallen down. It's one of the things that broke the. Yeah. yeah so I'll really take his out there, and we'll show you what's happened. So, what, are you, what have we got here, Tony? A uh, BMW G... 200 GS. Uh, cool. 2014. So how long you had that? Uh, four years. Four years, Three, yeah, four right. Years, yeah. 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 So how many, how many Ks? 130,000. Is that all yours? No, it's no. all mine, no. Yeah. So you've no. got this second hand, obviously. No, the truth is it was a, it was a rental bike before. Oh. Uh, so, uh, so they sort of give them away off. It was Compass Expeditions at it. Oh, really? Oh, right. And they set them off like on the cheap, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For 100,000, yeah, so cool. I've done 30,000. Yep. <laughs> yep, and you, hand, you handled all those uh, shitty tracks out at the shack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no tried to go through the forest, but they didn't <laughs> quite look out for me. Yeah. <laughs> cool, all yeah. right. Back to the man cave. Right here, mate. See you, mate. See ya. Right, guys, it's time to check out what Nay's up to in the wood shop. Hello. Well, hello. Time to check out what you're doing. Painting my fingers. Ah. So you're doing some more noughts and crosses? Yeah, I thought why not? I had some scraps. Can I put those on there? Oh, you should be able to, I think, maybe. I'll just do it, eh? It so does. they go like that on all them, and then, th is that dry? No. And then obviously they fit in there. Yep. And they look very cute. Yes. <clears throat> so something I wanted to show you. Oh, hang on. And we've got this little bloody. I don't know if you remember this. This little bloody puzzle game. Do that thing. A few more of those. And she's done herself what she calls the dodgy draw. <laughs> it is the dodgy draw. It was just. Watch your backside there, baby. So this is her little uh, drying rack where she can put her stuff to dry and then she pops it away like that and then when she's sanding and stuff she gets very little, yeah, just makes things 
Yeah, it means that I can have more projects on the go at once. Exactly. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, see ya. Rightio, guys, so here's a fun little bloody I love these projects. I've got two of these stools. They're just a wooden, most probably bought it from Kmart, Target, Big W. Ten years ago, I reckon, this thing is just, each time we've moved house and stuff, it's just managed to come along. They're, they're not very bloody strong. As you can see, I've had goes of bloody gluing them up and trying to strengthen them up. But now that I've got the new shed and I put I put one of these in here because I thought it'd be great just to have, uh, have a stool to, to sit on or to bloody stand on or whatever. These aren't the best things to stand on. And I thought, what can I do to make it look better and also make it more sturdy? Are you ready to see? Boom. <laughs> Check that out. Does that not suit this environment way better? than that one. So what I've done is, if you can see up close, nothing, it's all just bloody rough as guts. This is why I like these things, because it's a bit of spray paint, a couple of big screws through the top so it goes straight down the centers, and then some leftover bloody uh, cut off, what do you call it, plywood. Shaped it up just to make it look a little bit bloody better. A couple of screws, and this thing is now, I just, you know, jump on it. I shouldn't be doing stuff like that at my age. Um, and then, so I just got the, the Dulux uh, Epoxy, it's structural steel is, is the colour. Sprayed all that over so it ended up looking silver. It looked a little bit too new. So I just got the black satin and I just sprayed little bits on and then I had a glove on and I just wiped it. And then I just did that, as you can see, all the way around that. So I just spray a little bit on and then I'll get my glove and I just, you know, wipe it up like that. And I reckon that's come up pretty good. Just for something really quick and simple. Bloody ripper. Actually, while we're in here, um, I'm currently working on Harry's rear rack. That's what it is. This will be coming out in the, um, I don't know, budget bike builder, bike a bits garage bloody video. Uh, and this was part of going to do the chrome, but when that video comes out, you'll see whoop, will be blurry, what's going to happen. I've been doing a lot of stuff, but anyway, you'll see that in that other video. So what I've got now a light up there. This one is actually switchable. This was 10 bucks, Bunnings up again, of course. So you can have the orange for a bit of mood lighting if you want. I'm just keeping it on the white one. This, remember, all these wires are all going to be finally fixed up. And so those globes up there, these are those short ones. So I've got them running through there. Now we're going to change nays to have uh, these big ones. And I had a few comments. And I didn't realise you can actually, because you get so many of those, well, the joiners, you can join the joiners together to get them longer. But the other thing is that you don't have to have a joiner at all. One, they'll fit directly into each other. I haven't proven that fact, but someone said that they've got the same thing and, it, and they do it, so it should. But we'll test that when they gets hers. Right, oh, so light's another one. And that is, look at that. The old trading post is all lit up. Does that? <laughs> it looks bloody awesome. Um, so the same light. Uh, I've got the little light switch I can turn it off or turn it on to the white one. But for out here, and I've just got, I've got to fix that wiring up there, but I've got uh, an extension lead that runs into the danger shed over there. Um, yeah, bloody brilliant. Stuff is just moving along, isn't it, baby? Yes. Excellent. Rightio, guys, Gordo's uh, dropped over with the bolt and he's got a few uh, little bits and pieces that he's uh, changed on it. So we'll leave the pipes for last. Oh, so 
You have picked up yep. some brackets. You're going to put some hard yep. panniers on there. Yep, some hard panniers on there. So in doing this, you had to also get the extension for that. But now yep. you're looking, and we're going. You're going. You might have to get smaller Isn't blinkers because of that when you yeah. put a bag on there. Yeah. So we'll get. I'll get the bag and after all, figure it out. Then I'll see where they're going. Get smaller bullet ones, most likely. Yeah. Cool, right. and the biggest thing, and I didn't even bloody realise, <laughs> he's got a big ass screen on it. <laughs> so you got this, so this is a universal one? Yeah, this is just a universal one. But this one was like 80 bucks off Amazon. It was, you got your wind off your chest, yep. which is great, but still left a fair bit of buffeting on, on the top of your helmet. Yeah. So I ended up picking up this one off Amazon for about, uh, it's just under 40 bucks, I think it was. And basically, that's really smooth now. So for 120 bucks, basically, that's nice smooth ride, 100, 120, I'll, I'll be up to, no, a bit over speed long, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that no, works, work, works really well. Yeah, so, cool, that's right, it. Right, right, and when right. you, um, you do, <clears throat> Gordo's up at, uh, I, always go, I always go Kerrang. <laughs> Kyabra. Kyabra, yeah. Kyabram. So and it's so you gotta you gotta jump on highways and you you're doing hundred yeah, K's yeah. or a bit more. Yeah. Um for a hundred K's. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you're doing long stretches of rides and yeah, you're just constantly getting yeah. belted. Be different if you were just around town. Yeah, but you wouldn't have to worry about a windscreen. Yeah, around town the the, the C specs for around town. That's yeah, why it doesn't come, come with it, yeah. Yeah. But um yeah, since the your mate bought his his woman KTM he, First day out, got his license, got stung by a bee, and went to the hospital instead. Yeah, that's so. Right, yeah, this is really good for keeping your bees up your teeth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, and now as another thing, so you're you're wanting to just raise these up a little bit because you yeah. reckon after about an hour or something. Yeah. About about an hour, base is just a little, little bit annoying. The clip ones, they they're surprisingly good. But for yourself, basically about two inches high, about two inches back would be perfect. Yeah. You can get your your standard aspect bolt ones on there, but by the time you get the shop to do it, all your MR parts is not much change out of two grand. Yeah, that's so, that's um, a lot of money. I haven't been able to find clip ones which are a little bit taller. So, yeah. Which we so, long after. So these this part here just slots oops sorry, yeah. slots into there, doesn't it? Yeah. It tightens down. So I just need to basically just raise it up, just an extension on there. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, see where we get to. <clears throat> cool. Now for the most important part, our Vance and Hines. Is it Vance and Hines? Yep, not yep. Hines and Vance. <laughs> twin slashed exhausts. Yeah, cool. So, what do you reckon, Perks? I wouldn't stand there. He's going to start this up. <laughs> you might get blown away. Come on, Perks. Wait. <laughs> she wouldn't hear it anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> Move. <laughs> right, I start her up. made a huge difference, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, that sounds really good. So now when I'm in, in amongst traffic, they're, they're more like someone's going to hear, hear me, hopefully. Uh, you're, <laughs> a, you're a loud pipe saves saves lives man. Yep, yeah, as long as they're not too loud and annoying. But yeah, that's it, yeah. So far, these are, they're loud, but for myself, they're comfortably loud. Yeah, right. and, they're, and they're further... Yeah, kind of like getting behind you. Yeah, you get cobra ones which they, they sweep over and they finish about here. Yeah. Which I've heard they reckon really quacky. Yeah. So your long pipes put the sound out. Yeah. There. You still hear it, but yeah, not as bad as those other ones. Yeah. Well, there you go. So that's the uh, that's what's going on with the old bolt. Yeah, so next sh short term um, an improvement. Probably wouldn't mind. I'll change this, the seat up because it's. It's good for about for about an hour. Like any of the stock seats. Yeah. 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 yeah and, cool. um, I'll have to 
look at a better intake at some point down the track, but all part of the Oh, fun. so why a why better intake? What, for better performance or? Yeah, well, basically it's, oh. that's hugely restrictive. It's probably wonder where the air blade gets in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the air gets out fast now. Right, so match so, up what's, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so there's some com Cobra brand and stuff you can get, but I'll have a bit more fish around and see what's that in the fuel management systems, usually the three that seem to work the best together. Yeah, yeah. Right, eh? Oh, beauty. Thanks, Gordo. Okay, bit of a shout out for all the new crewmen. So obviously I haven't done this for a few weeks, so there's quite a lot of bloody new crewmen there and some level ups as well. Bloody brilliant guys, thanks heaps, you're all top blokes. Right now guys, time for a bit of BB news and shit. Now we've had, uh, I've just selected a few of the photos that get sent through to me on the phone letting me know who's grabbed a geo stash. So these are crew members um, that have grabbed geo stashes. So I've just selected a few, gonna whack them up, let you guys have a look at what they're, what, who's out there and what they're doing. Alright, here we go. So we got Bob, he's out on the Yamaha T700. Chappie and John went out in the 4x4. We've got Mark doing the crusty, the crusty pit, and here's his bike with some of the stickers he's put on there of the ones that he's got. Mick's our support driver for the Ramble out at Pride Rock. Another Mick doing the crusty demon pit. Peter out at the shack before it had actually fallen down, and that's where Pete's putting his stickers. We've got Steve out on the DRZ400 doing the shack. Todd and the kids, and I love that Todd takes the kids out uh, with him when he does this. Bloody fantastic. And that's me helping out Tony on the on the hut. And then, of course, Tony did Pride Rock all by himself. Well, there you go. Bloody good stuff, guys. Love it. Rightio, for some of you guys that don't know how this bloody website works, if you go to bikerbits.com.au, you get these two things. That goes to our online shop. That goes to where all the fun stuff is is which is uh all about the videos and, and all the shit that i do with you guys so those geo stash there's a geo stash depot right there hopefully you guys can see this on the screen these are all the active ones at the moment like if you go to the shack you can read the information about it obviously you need to be a crew member to click on these and get coordinates and all that kind of stuff um but you can see this is the shack these are all the guys that have actually got it what they were on, B, B, BMX. Wow, there's a typo error for you. That should be a BMW. <laughs> what an idiot. Bloody idiot I am. Yeah, Holden, Colorado, that's Todd with the kids. Um, and then we've got the, and it also tells you the last time that it was actually um, caught, which was actually today. How's that? Um, then you can click on the stats board. And this is where everybody gets listed. So Peter Ermel is actually our leader because he's got all six of them. And then it just goes down. So Des B's got four of them. And then we've got ones with threes, twos, all the way down through there. So we just, it's like a bit of a leaderboard, bit of bloody fun, um, whacking it in there so people can watch. And then I put, so we've got the Fire Tower and Eagle Peak is in the planning. I've been waiting for the fires to all die down. I think it's pretty right now. Got to get out, place another two geo stashes out there in cool spots. Now, wh while we're actually uh, here, the organized rides, so this is where I list all the organized rides. So the Dual Sport, Ramble, um, there's no spots available. So, Spin you guys around like that. Take my glasses off. So unfortunately, you know how I have it so that the crew members get preference, so the level three, and then it goes to level twos, level ones, and then out to the YouTube followers. This time around, the first time ever, the level 10, it didn't make it out of that. So when it got, there was a week where it got put out to the level um, tens, and all level tens got it. I must admit, um, the last two tickets uh, level t was level. They were level five, but I they rang me actually email, uh, emailed me asking whether if they moved up to level ten could they then 
purchase. They moved up to level 10, uh, level 10, level 3, and then they purchased it. I had someone actually um, who was a level 5 and saw that he was waiting for Monday because then he could then jump on and do it and he and he seen that we'd run out of bloody spots. He was concerned that, because, you know, you're going, oh, I'll just bloody buy it. I'm not, I'm on in level 3, because you can do that. But when someone buys a ticket, I check to see what level. So there's there's no shonky business. There's no one getting away with something. Um, every time I check to go, right, yep, they're level 3, cool, done. If they're not a level 3, it's then cancelled. They have to wait until the thing out. Um, so now you've got the option to go as a standby, because sometimes we do, um, and I think generally nearly always we have at least one person has to pull out for whatever reason, you know, shit happens. Um, so I've now got, you can, there's an email on the bottom of that page uh, to say email us and we'll put you on a standby. So if someone pulls out, we can email you and say, hey, if you still want to hop on this, you can. So there you go. All right. Um, and another thing in regards to Ramble, me and um, Chappie finalised the route which was yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday. We went out and finalized it. I'm happy with the route. It all works time-wise and all that kind of stuff. So all I'm gonna do is get all that information that I gathered, times, kilometers, fuels, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll then be able to put that onto uh, onto the website, all the information so you guys can see it. It'll be the same thing. It won't become available until the set dates and then whoever, uh, and then it does that whole level three, level two, level one, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Uh, I think that's it for that, for the ramble stuff. And then don't forget, if obviously, if you've missed out on getting on this Benigo one, we've got one in August. We've got the Castle Main one in April. Um, yeah, so there you go. Cool. Okay, so more news is, yeah, I think in the last uh, video, I mentioned Last Man Cave Tuesday, I mentioned about the shack bloody falling down. Here's a picture that John got. That was when we rescued the bloody KLR 250. Um, that day I was actually out there and I, I'd seen, when I helped Tony get the, the, the geo stash, we're going out and walking out there, I'm going, oh my God, the bloody thing's fallen down. It's no wonder, I mean, I don't know how long it's been out there now. Uh, and we've had, we had that huge amount of rain and wind going through, so it's not surprising. I will get out there and give you guys a proper look at it. It's actually one of the one of the trees had actually snapped and broken down. I was not going to worry about fixing it back up, but now I'm going no because guys go out there getting the geo stash and, and the the shack geo stash is obviously there's the shack and then you go to the geo stash which is nearby. And I thought no, it's bloody. They're getting out there and then the friggin' thing's all falling down. So I think it's a whole lot better if they see it when it's all up. So I'm going to get a group of the guy, local guys around here. Make them bloody come out with me and help me uh, get that all. Hopefully we can pick it all up in one and get the, t the, the two supports back under and get it all shored up. So we'll obviously video us doing that. So I'm most probably looking at John, Chappie, maybe Alistair. Um, get under bloody come out there and give me a hand right eh? okay some more news um, so Ray with the KDM 950 enduro you've seen this picture a few times um, what did he No, I think I told you about that last time he busted the front wheel and he's got panniers coming on hope he's coming on the ramble the Bendigo ramble we're hoping to do a bike talk with that particular bike now here's mrs. Joe who's been a crew member for for bloody ever, um, she's now got. She had the uh, the what was it the Honda CB CB. Uh, this is where I'm just I'm just so hopeless when it comes to motorcycle models. For me, motorcycles are just adventure machines. I don't get tied up in the whole all the models and what they can do and all that thing. It's just I just see a motorcycle. I, I look at it and I go, that's awesome, and I want to have adventures on it. Um, so I, I'm, I almost sound like a dumb shit when it comes to talking about models and what that, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, it was a CBX 500, I think. There you go. I reckon that's what it is. She's now got um, herself a Suzuki DRZ 400, and she's coming on the Bendigo Ramble in March. So, Joe, good on you. I'm bloody glad you finally 
bloody got your ticket and you're coming. Uh, I think Joe was a bit worried about coming in with yeah you know, with a group riding in a, in a in a group of stuff, which is totally understandable. Nay doesn't like riding with um, other people, um, so I understand what Joe's on about. Um, so that'll be good. What else was there? There was something else. Oh, um, Peter has picked up the new Yamaha T700, the Tenere 700, the brand new one, uh, which also Bob uh was on which it was one of the 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 uh doing the geo stash he's got the black and blue one he'll be on the march ramble so we'll get to see that bike and peter's on the ramble as well so we're going to have two of those bikes and peter's is the the white one peter's also had his lowered i'm not sure about bob um so it might be good to see see the differences between the two bikes from that point of view uh Peter, I know, has got over the thousand, so he'll be getting his first service with the bike. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Cool, all right. I think that's all the news I've got. Sorry, this is bloody... Oh, there's not enough hours in a day, days in a bloody week, weeks in a month, months in a bloody year. Anyway, there you go. So it's all a little bit rough. Sorry about that, but... I suppose you're used to it. <laughs> right, hey, back to the man cave. Right, hey guys. So uh, me and um, Chappie are just bloody finished doing a, a, the Castlemaine routing bloody stuff for that ramble. We've just ducked around to his old man's place, and this is the uh, the dirt dragger. So you go around an oval track. No, a straight drags. Oh, straight on dirt. Yeah, it just drags. Yeah. Oh, right. Check this bloody thing. So what is it, Chappy? Come on, tell uh, them. GSXR. Yep. 750. Yeah. Yeah, right. Check that. Look at it. Runs on Avgas, isn't it's it? It's like a chain off a tractor. So I what? Avgas. Runs on Avgas and that. Yeah. But I had to get all this made up because it was bending the axle, so I had to get a bloke out of Castle May and build all this. Too much like just too, too much, much talk. talk. Yeah, and right. burnouts, yeah. as you can see from the back tire. Yeah. Oh, so that's a car drum. Yeah, it's a, it's a Commodore. off a Commodore, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. We can't start it up because he doesn't have the ab gas. He's got it at his other place, and the battery's flat. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you reckon the last time your buddy did it? Oh, what? A little while ago, a few years ago. That's that's good. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, a few, a few years ago now. What is it? Grub dirt uh, racing. So you said you got these custom made? Yep. And we used to just call it that because my old man where he worked was called Barty. You know his last name? Oh, was, right, oh, yeah. His name's Bart. Yep. <laughs> so I was Grub. So we called it Grub Barty Racing. Barty Grub, yeah, right. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That says it all. Wicked. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, bloody shit hot. Right, eh? I thought some in there from the boys up there, up there. Yeah, bet it would. Right, hey guys, you know the deal. Back to the man cave. <coughs> right, hey guys, so we're uh, going into the pineys. Some nice little sections that you get all this in close, bloody uh, pine forest, and then we uh, get into some whoop, cleared areas. Follow me, map, Mark. Follow me, map. Chappie's on up, just behind me. He's most probably going, oh my god, this guy goes so slow. <laughs> but I can't go too fast because I'm tracking this for the ramble. Um, when we get to the end, I'll end up most probably adding at least an, I'll add an hour to our time. Because the more people that you have on a ride, the slower um, your time ends up being. Cool. Out the edge, and then we go down here. Chappie's there. Beautiful. All right, I'll uh, bring you guys out a bit further. Well, there you go, guys. That's Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted for another week. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, the footage of uh, while the credits were rolling in that in the pine forest. That was me and Chappie uh, routing for the Casamain Ramble. Um, I'll have a video coming out in a couple of days I suppose 
uh, of that. I was only going to be for the crew, but it ended up being a little bit bigger than what I expected. And I come off the bike and we bloody do some cuppers at a little billabong thing. So anyway, so that's coming out. Righto, got to bloody get this going. Oh, shit. Remember, keep on riding. And if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.